How to get good at kissing requires three things. Another consenting person or robot substitute, the right mood, and confidence that you don't have. Now, getting another consenting person to kiss you may be the trickiest part, particularly if you're shy in any of the following clubs, or find it hard to pull yourself away from the incredibly abstract and detailed horror endings of how they reply to you after asking them out. Namely, them telling you that they're not into you and walking away, them telling you that they're into your sister and walking away, or them telling you that they are your sister and kicking you out of their room. So, my best recommendation to you is to find people who are also shy in a nerdy virgin club, aren't related to you, and have crippling social anxiety when it comes to kissing. Essentially, aim for an easy target. And if you continue to struggle to find someone like that, ask your friend to bring over their really hot friends, and then practice kissing them. And if you struggle to find friends, same. Next, you need to get into the right mood. So, after stalking them online, finding a situation to befriend them, and dressing cute when they're around, you now need to introduce sexuality into the relationship, which can be tricky because one, they have to be into it for it not to be creepy and non-consensual, and two, because you have to introduce sexuality into the relationship. So yeah, this is what computer scientists call deadlock, and it's a predominant reason we are stereotyped for being awkward, when in reality, we just see being flirtatious as a mathematical resource allocation problem which really only supports that stereotype. Now, knowing they're into you isn't hard, just ask. If they say yes, they're into you. If they say no, they're not into you. And if they say see all of the above, you know that that person isn't right for you because the only time you want two different signals at once is periodically, namely to find the fundamental frequency. They might also say D, that's what I do, but D never picks me. The harder thing is knowing how to set up a situation that they'll be into in the first place. And setting the mood requires the three P's. Number one, privacy. Like an enclosed bedroom or VPN. And this would have been the perfect time to plug the ish out of a VPN sponsorship. You know, like a successful YouTube channel would. But that is not what this channel is. Uh, so we won't be doing that. But please subscribe and share this video with the person you want to kiss. Uh, actually, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> this will probably turn them off. So maybe just share this to a person that's equally awkward. Someone that isn't shooting their shot. Someone that's bad at flirting. Someone that's in a STEM degree but can't seem to find a date. Or get a job. Move out of their parents' house. <sighs> Number two is proximity. Ideally, you want to be close enough so that you're sitting thigh to thigh nervously or so that you could easily manage a kiss. And lastly, three, payment. Make sure never to give full up front. Split it half and half. Half before, half after. Uh, make sure to keep the second half in a separate location. So now that you've dimmed the lights so that they can't see your profuse sweat stains or your boner, it's best to do an activity that allows you to touch the other person. This helps close the proximity gap so you can kiss and takes the edge off of having no conversational skills other than C-sharp. I like to lie on a bed and do shadow puppets. That way they can swoon at my finger dexterity and I can touch them to correct their unfortunate bunny form. So after doing this for a while, you need to transition into lip-on-lip -lip contacts. Uh, you can do this by asking, what are you thinking about? And if they're honest, they'll answer something saucy that you can use to immediately transition into kissing them. But if they're also too nervous to say that they're picturing themselves penetrating your mouth with their tongue, you can use the following to help you out. Put on chapstick, ask if they want chapstick, and then refuse to hand it to them. If they're smart, they'll take the hint and begin kissing you. And if they're not, they'll at least rustle the chapstick out of your hand, and you can remember the way their dick brushed up against you while they did it. So really a win-win situation there. You can similarly put a piece of hard candy in your mouth and ask them if they want to try a piece. My tip here is to make sure you're doing this while you're upright and not while you're lying down. Because if you're lying down, it'll probably fall and hit the back of your throat. And then you'll make that embarrassing gagging noise as you choke on their salivated candy. 
But even if you do choke and they need to give you CPR, still counts. And lastly, you can follow them around on New Year's Eve so that you have an excuse to kiss them when their balls drop. Once you've effectively transitioned, the next step is to know how to effectively kiss. Effective kissing means kissing in a way that makes both of your circulatory systems start accumulating blood in particular places, such as the groin, your lips, their lips, and your other pair of lips. Kissing can be broken down into six stages. Stage one, this is first contact. It's when you first kiss them. It's a light kiss with minimal tongue, something no members of the math team will achieve in high school. Stage two, this is a French kiss. This is a wetter open mouth kiss where you lead with your tongue and your lower lip. And like the French, it might be a smart idea to have something you can wipe the saliva off your face with, like a handkerchief or a white flag. Stage three, this is tongue to tongue. This is essentially when you massage your tongue with their tongue. Uh, a real tip is to keep your tongue soft and relaxed and not pokey. And a fake tip is something you can buy at Amazon for $11.99. Stage four, this is cancer. This is when you use WebMD to realize you're gonna die. So you quit your job and tell everyone how you really feel about them. And then you realize that that lump was just from sitting down watching YouTube all day. Stage five, this is second base. This is uh, when you put your hands on the squishier hard parts, uh, you know, depending on how long you've been kissing uh, of the other person. And stage six, this is grinding. Uh, this is what I do on the weekends and also what others do on the weekends. Now, some specific kissing tips can include picking up their upper lip with your tongue, synchronizing your breathing with theirs, having fresh breath, uh, aka save the garlic knots for after, uh, taking out your retainer before you start kissing them, and trying not to let them hear your TMJ jaw popping out of place as you kiss them. Overall, just breathe, enjoy kissing them, and it'll come naturally. And if you like this video and have any topics you want to get good at, leave it in the comments and if you're subscribed to me, you may just see it in next week's video. Also, don't be afraid to post this video on your social media like your Twitter, OkCupid okay profile, Bumble profile, and of course that hot Tinder account of yours so that you can attract those honeys since they know you'll be good at kissing and I can hopefully get that VPN sponsorship.